Have you ever felt caught in a tug of war between your gut instinct and the possible influence of past traumas? Sometimes it's challenging to discern between the two as they can often become tangled, leading to confusion and distress. But distinguishing between them is crucial as they can greatly influence our decisions, relationships, and overall well-being. So let's dive into a deeper understanding and unfold the seven signs that might suggest it's your trauma speaking, not your gut instincts. Overreacting. Do you find yourself reacting intensely to even minor stressors? Dr. Bessel van der Kolk, a leading trauma expert, explains that trauma survivors often have a heightened stress response. This is because their brains have been wired to be in constant fight, flight, or freeze mode due to past traumatic events. It's like you're in a gentle stream, but the slightest ripple feels like a tidal wave. This amplified reaction isn't your intuition sensing danger. It's your brain's learned response to past traumas. Difficulty trusting. Do you find it challenging to trust people? Even those who have shown nothing but kindness and reliability? According to psychiatrist and trauma expert, Dr. Judith Herman, trauma survivors often struggle with trust issues as a protective mechanism. When someone has violated your trust in the past, especially in a traumatic way, your brain learns to be wary as a means of self-protection. It's like you're in a lush garden surrounded by beautiful and harmless flowers, but you're afraid to touch them because once a thorn pricked you. This apprehension is not your intuition telling you that everyone is out to hurt you. It's the painful memories from past betrayals causing you to put up walls. Fear of abandonment. Do you constantly fear being left alone, even when you're surrounded by supportive and caring people? According to pioneering attachment theory psychologist, Dr. John Bowlby, early life traumas can lead to a persistent fear of abandonment. When your attachment figures in early life were inconsistent, unavailable, or neglectful, it can create a deep-seated fear that others will leave you. It's like you're standing in a room full of people who care about you, but you can't shake the feeling that they'll leave at any moment. This constant fear isn't your intuition guiding you. It's a deep-seated fear that was formed in response to early life traumas. Overthinking. Do you find yourself expecting the worst in every situation, even when things are going well? According to psychologist Dr. Rick Hansen, trauma can lead to negative bias. Our brains are wired to pay more attention to threats to our survival. However, when we've experienced trauma, this instinct can become hyperactive, causing us to perceive threats even in safe situations. It's like being in a beautifully decorated room but you're focused on the single stain on the carpet. This isn't your gut instinct telling you that something is wrong. It's a learned response from past traumas that's causing you to expect the worst. Uncomfortable with stability. Have you ever felt uneasy when life is calm and stable? According to leading childhood trauma expert, Dr. Bruce Perry, survivors can feel uncomfortable with stability due to past chaos. This discomfort may seem counterintuitive, but when you've grown accustomed to a life of unpredictability and turmoil, stability can feel foreign and unsettling. It's like you've become so used to navigating through stormy seas that when the waters finally calm, you feel lost, restless, or uneasy. Your mind has learned to equate chaos with normalcy and calmness seems like the calm before the storm. This is not your gut instinct warning you of impending doom. It's the echo of past chaos. Hypervigilance. Are you often overly alert or watchful, especially when there's no apparent danger? Dr. Peter A. Levine, known for his work in stress and trauma, explains that trauma survivors often experience hypervigilance, a state of increased alertness, where you're constantly on the lookout for hidden dangers, both real and assumed. It's like being in a quiet forest, but every rustle of leaves sends your heart pounding your senses are heightened, you're on edge, and you're constantly anticipating danger, even though there's no apparent threat. This state of chronic alertness can be exhausting and anxiety-inducing. It's not your intuition warning you, but the echoes of past trauma causing your heightened state of alertness. Avoidance. Do you find yourself avoiding certain people, places, or situations without a clear reason? According to Dr. Francine Shapiro, 
the developer of EMDR therapy, trauma survivors often avoid triggers that remind them of their past traumas. This avoidance is protective and the mind's way of trying to prevent the re-experiencing of distressing emotions linked to the trauma. It's like the mind creates a no-go zone around anything that might bring the traumatic event back to the surface. You're avoiding a certain route, not because it's dangerous or inconvenient, but because it somehow makes you uncomfortable. It's not your intuition guiding you. It's a sign of unhealed trauma. Remember that understanding our emotions is a journey, not a sprint. If you're seeing yourself in these signs, don't be shy about reaching out to a mental health pro. Every step you take gets you closer to healing. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like it and share it with others. Remember, you're not alone in this. Until next time, stay brave.